first drawback of the Sony screen. I know the next model up is um, articulated, but this one ain't. Pain in the ass. Never mind. First composition. Turn around. I've got this tree. Pathway leading up to it. And it looks like it's got a face on the branch. It's really quite cool. And I've got the shot coming all the way and taking in that branch up there. Um, but what you probably can't see is the light is just coming through this gap, sort of down through here and hitting the tree. So uh, we'll see what we can get from it. And welcome to Coniger Tower. We're on the edge of um, Exmoor, um, Dunster, park in a car park, walk over the road, up a track, your ear. It's about three quarters of a mile walk, if that. Um, I think there's only going to be one way to capture all this, and that is via drone. Um, we've got some nice cloud definition, the sun's not hazy, it's not blazing it all out. and just blowing the whites. Um, GoPro 10 for this entire video, except for the drone footage. 5K, uh, 60 frames a second. See what it's like. Um, tower's a bit weird. You can literally walk around it and that's it. There's, there's no bench, there's nowhere to sit. Uh, I'm kind of lent on that. And I'm gonna have a coffee because I've got a sugar hangover. Um, cinema last night. My boy's 10. Every time we go to the cinema, we go for the pick and mix record. Um, family record, obviously. The record until yesterday was £11.37. Broke that last night, £15.62. Ate the lot between us. And I feel like crap. Honestly, I'm dry. I've drank about three pints of water already this morning and it's only half past six. Um, I've just bumped into another gentleman who absolutely frightened the shit out of me. Um, and there's a dead bird around the corner that has been ripped to pieces. Um, so, um, dodgy. Um, right. Something I want to say, actually I'm gonna read it out because I'm really proud of it. Um, managed to send my wedding album off. Uh, she's very happy. And I did a little bit of videoing for her, not a videographer by any means. You guys can carry on doing that. I do a little bit of a little bit. I put the vlogs together and she couldn't get a videographer at short notice. Um, so I, I did my best. Um, so I'm gonna read you a message and I'm super proud of this. This is exactly why I do what I do. Uh, just watched the wedding video. I smiled the entire time. Then I laughed and I cried and I smiled again. You, sir, absolutely nailed it. Thank you. That is why I do this. That is what makes it all worth it. Um, take any monetary gain out of it. That's why I do it. It's awesome. Feedback like that is incredible. It was hard work. Um, you know, I've got, I've got Final Cut Pro. I've got I've got all the bits you need, but the videography side is hard. So total respect to all you uh, professional videographers out there. I'll just stick to the photography, I think. Um, what other elephants in the room do I need to address? Top Gun, go and see it, it's brilliant. Jurassic Park, I'd wait. I'd wait for it to come out on DVD. Um, that's about it, let's get the drone up and we'll go from there, see you in a minute. Sorry, other elephant in the room. Did you catch last week's video, FPV? Um, it's only a mess about, fly about. I fixed it myself, soldered it myself. Cheaper than claiming under the insurance. A total replacement was 250 quid. I spent about 130 pounds. It's fixed. 30 quid of that was a soldering iron. Um, so that cost hasn't got to be done again, should I break another leg. Not my leg. Um, <laughs> in the video, 
I said the only lasting damage is the is the mic's gone. Um, that's total. That's total bull. Don't listen to me. Because when I after I crashed it, um, after I realised it was still working, I reset everything um, and left it to dry out just to make sure there were going to be no problems before I attempted a repair because then I would have had to claim. Um, when you reset all the parameters on the FPV, it switches the mic off. So I've now switched it back on and it will work again. I've got the FPV in the car, can't use it up here, it's too tight, way too many trees and let's face it, I don't get on with trees, especially dead ones. Um, I've got a little idea, I want to do a Blue Anchor Bay so if you watch my previous videos, click up there somewhere and you'll go into my previous videos. Um, you'll see Blue Anchor Bay holds a special memory for me, very special. Uh, so here's the tower composition. I've come back a little bit. I'm not sure if you can see that completely. There's something over there in the bushes creeping around. I don't know what the f it is, but it's creepy up here. Settings. Oh, F13. Uh, 30th of a second, ISO 160. Um, I'm trying to pull this sort of line leading up to it through the bushes and then sort of, you know, shoot the whole tower. Um, but it's, um, it's a bit boring. And there's still something creeping around in the bushes. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Um, and probably a deer will walk past me in a minute, right behind me, just over my shoulder. I don't know a thing about it. Um, do a focus stack. Um, I'm going to focus here at the bottom of the tower and I'll do one at the top of the tower. And actually I think what I might try is um, a portrait panoramic. Try and get it in that way as well. That might be a bit different. Um, bear with, I'll put those pictures up. Um, I just shot through the arch here as well, um, sort of going down right down here, so you get it, get the, um, the sun breaking through. Um, clouds gone there. Right, let's launch the drone. Um, let's do it. Using, I've already said using a GoPro 10, I'm using the media mod as well. So it's got, um, it's got the wind deflector over an external mic, the cover goes over the GoPro. I don't know what it's like, um, perhaps I'll do a little bit at the end, but all I know so far, the protective screen I had on the back, when you clamp this case over it, it moves that screen and lifts it off. So you can't have a prote yeah, protective screen on the back if you're gonna use this media mod. So you gotta be careful. Um, you can't just, you know, stick it down on the floor. You're gonna, you're gonna scratch the screen. Um, but other than that, hopefully the audio is pretty good. Um, I mean, there is no wind. I'm quite well protected here. But obviously with the Osmo, you've got a mic um, and you can put it on your clothes. Um, a Bluetooth, job done. But this mic is over there. You can attach external mics, um, but I can't be faffing about with that. So hopefully this little bugger is good enough. 5K drains the battery on a GoPro 10. <clears throat> Still at 5K, we're staying at 5K. Right, let's fly. Um, drone tips. Do you know what? I never ever go into drone tips. Um, what will be my two? Don't ever fly with a drained battery. If you're planning a flight, do it with a full battery. If something's not worked and you've come back and you're going to go back out to try and make it work, change the battery. Um, I've been caught out before over the Bristol Channel um, doing some photography out there and I landed my Mavic Mini when I first ever started flying drones in my hand, battery bleeping, literally counting down the seconds before it was just going to do an enforced landing. Um, so yeah, <sighs> don't go with a drain battery. Just even, uh, 
it's difficult isn't it because even if you've flown five minutes you know these things have got 35 minute battery life in the correct conditions the mavic mini 3 47 minutes uh if you buy the bigger battery but that puts you over 250 grams um i use the air 2 um second top tip plan your conditions um these things are great in the wind even the mavic mini is great in the wind um but just bear in mind that eventuality of where you are. Um, so I've flown, I flew a, a waterfall once. Um, I was photographing the waterfall and I thought oh, I'd be clever and get some drone footage of it. There's a massive amount of draft that comes off of a waterfall. And I had a Mavic Mini at the time. It was just pushing the Mavic Mini back all the time towards the bridge. Um, luckily I caught it, what it was doing and shot up in the air and, and landed it. Um, but yeah, just think about what you're doing. Uh, that's rich coming from me, who's just smashed an FPV into a tree. Um, but honestly, the dead trees do not show up in the goggles until the last minute, the last second even, because if I had a minute, I wouldn't have crashed, would I? Um, right, let's fly.
So that is that. Um, I think that's about it, really. Um, there's not a lot else here. Got some nice landscapes. I think the drone's going to do it justice. That's why I've used the 48 megapixel camera. Other top tips: keep keep your stuff in order. Check the propellers. Um, I've had just lately a couple of load warnings. Um, that generally means generally means your propellers might be bending. I've never changed them. I've had this drone eight, nine months now. Um, I've not changed the propellers yet. Um, and it's done a fair few miles. It's done a fair few miles. Two more top tips while I think of them. One, never fly in the rain. Just started raining, how lucky am I? Um, I've got all the stuff I wanted. Water goes in those motors, you've had it. Uh, second top tip, completely forgot what I was gonna say. Right, I'm gonna head back down to the car. Um, gonna go to Blanca Bay, hopefully the rain will stay off. And we're gonna do this FPV, FPV thing that I wanted to do. Um, I hope you enjoy the tower. It's very hard to show something off that's not very photogenic, if you like. Um, but yeah, there's a round circular walk you can do around here. It's a couple of miles. It's through forests and stuff. So I'm sure that's quite nice, but I haven't got time to do it this morning. I've got other commitments. Um, I've got a 10 year old who's gonna wake up soon. It's his birthday weekend, 10 Friday, cinema Saturday, birthday today. Um, so I'll see you at Blanca Bay. Hey, so Blue Anchor Bay. Um, tide's on its way out, but it's not too far out. Uh, so let's have a little play around.
talk about windswept. Wow. It's pretty windy out there. Um, it's, I don't think it's worked out the way I wanted it to. I'll put some footage together, I'll put it out there. Um, I forgot to fly it in sport. So I was getting knocked about by the wind and every time the wind hit the sensors, it stopped the drone. Um, <laughs> it is what it is. Um, it probably still makes some half decent footage. What I wanted to talk you through was just a little bit of my workflow. So when I get home, um, I chill out, I shower, breakfast, all that sort of crap. I'll chill out for the day. I'll, I'll always take everything off the memory cards um, and put it on hard drive, but then I'll chill. It's the same with a vlog. It's the same with hobby photography for me. And it's the same in a professional way that I did the wedding photos. Um, don't rush your workflow because you'll get caught up in a moment and then things just won't work out. Um, so I'll stick everything on hard drive, I'll chill out for the day, Formula One, out for a walk, family stuff, whatever, and then I'll start hitting into it Sunday evening perhaps, or on the Monday. Um, but yeah, never, never rush. Um, that's about it from me. I'm going home. Give us a like, because it really does help. Um, it's just, you know, that little thumbs up button, just tap it, um, because it does help. Subscribe. I love doing this. You know, it gets me out and it, it's good for your mental health. It's good to relax. It's good to get out. It's good to chill and it's good to do something you love, whatever you love. Um, I hope you can learn something from me. Um, you know, that's another reason to subscribe. Um, I'll keep going with the drone tips and comments and stuff you know I'm, I'm no I'm no professional bloody drone pilot but I like to think I'm good I've only crashed once since I've had drones um so yeah give us a like it helps do subscribe right there and drop a comment I'd love to hear what you think um stay tuned I'll be back stay safe out